mix of the radio. Let's have some fun. That's what we're about here. Fun. Hey, I'm Alan. Uh, thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Say hi to Bill Squire. He's here too. Hey, creepy hugs. I am here. Mary Santora is out. Bridget Linton is back. Guess who's back again? And well lit. I, finally. We figured out some lighting oh, uh, issues. Or <laughs> no, that was last time. <laughs> lit up. Did yeah. We last time? No, remember last time I was here, I was feeling a little rough. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's right. She was hung yeah. over last time. Yeah. Okay, we don't need to revisit it. Well, no, but mm-hmm. you work very hard, and you you um, she work hard, she play work hard. hard, play hard. I, no, but a, you had gone to some, you had hosted some event or something yes. where there were a lot of libations, yes, being consumed, mm-hmm. and so you were you were a real trooper that day. I just took some naps in the commercial breaks, and uh-huh. I was good to go. Yep. Feeling much better today. Feeling much, much better and refreshed today. Yes. Good, good. So I assume you didn't go to Janet Jackson last night. I didn't. I didn't know what was going on. I, I know when I was leaving last night, every car that was pulling into our parking garage was like Gen X black girls. <laughs> and I'm like, what is happening tonight? I didn't see anybody with a tour T-shirt on or anything. Everybody's just dressed normally. Mm-hmm. And um, and then I saw somebody had posted Janet Jackson or something. I don't, I don't know. On the yeah, I didn't see it until social media like, later. Oh, it's Same. Janet Jackson, right. I don't you know how go. I didn't know that she was in town. Well, I knew it was coming, but I, it's so, like, not on my radar. And I right. like Janet Jackson a lot. Mm-hmm. I probably would have poked my head in there had I thought about it. But um, uh, given your thoughts on, you know, the pop stars of today, yeah. Taylor Swift <laughs> and anyone who likes her music is a rotten imbecile, I think. No, no, I, I don't fat and mis- ugly. I don't want to misquote you. Bridget Linton says... <laughs> Taylor Swift makes music for fat, ugly girls. Is Definitely, that what it was? It, I think that was a Bill quote that he just kind of added my name to. It's not actually accurate. But it no, gets, I'm it, not a huge Taylor Swift can, fan. It can be a Bill quote, but people are going to remember Bridget Linton said. Yeah, because you just really <laughs> saturated everywhere that I said that. Yeah, but no, nice. I did not. I am a fan of Janet Jackson, though. I would have enjoyed Janet's her concert. Great. Yes. Rhythm Nation. I mean, I've been a, a rock and roll guy my whole life, but I had Rhythm Nation mm-hmm. on CD... 1990, maybe? I mean, okay, way yeah. before your time. You were born in 96. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm a baby. So yeah. way before your time. But I mean, <laughs> right. you know, I was I was barely in the college when that came out, and I, I had a big old crush on Janet Jackson. Gosh, speaking of, like, when we were born and things, Yeah. happy belated birthday. Oh, hey, thanks. Mr. Alan that. Cox. What day was it? I forget, but it happened recently. We were it in was. Indiana all weekend. What were you in Indiana for? Um, two of my wife's cousins are getting married. To each other. Not to each other. <laughs> and so they rented what used to be this old motel on a hillside. And my wife went to Indiana University, so it was in Bloomington, okay, yeah. so she knows her way around. And uh, But everyone converged there from a bunch of states, or like 20 mm-hmm. people. And so it's like all cousins and friends and things. And obviously I know her family, but I was like, I'm the oldest guy there, right? <laughs> but I'm also the only one, like, I started drinking right away because I'm like, it's going to be one of these kind of weekends. But it was fun. But my birthday was spent driving back from Indiana, oh. so which is fine because all I ever say is that I don't want a, a big deal made of my birthday. Well, and so um, when people stick to that, I'm pleased. I have obviously had no idea when your birthday was because you never tell us. I forgot. So I appreciate your daughter for posting happy birthday, Dad. I'm like, now I know when Alan's birthday is. Oh, my older daughter, yeah. Mm-hmm. She posted a very sweet yes. thing. Yes. Yeah. Well, and her birthday is one week after mine, so that's coming up. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's um, her way of reminding. And next week, Dad. <laughs> You're right. It's all about me. <laughs> yeah, well, she's going to be 20. I'm yeah. like, my that's mind's crazy. blown, man. I mean, you know. But, um, no, my younger daughter got me for my birthday. She helped pick out um, a variety of jerkies for me. Oh, right? wow. Oh, so they spent a lot of money. Well, you know, I mean. <laughs> jerky is expensive. Go to the Actually, jerky yeah, outlet. Jerky is expensive as hell. Yeah, it really Even is. if you're at the outlet, you're not walking out of there without spending 50 bucks. And drop some cash yeah. uh, on jerkies. But it was a series of, um, you know, they were like uh, Jalapeno and things mm. like that, beef sticks and jerkies and the like. Any salmon jerky? Well, I've got my salmon I'm, jerky right here. That's my. That's I've oh. already got that. That's my mid-show snack. Mm. Is my salmon jerky. I've never had salmon jerky before. You can have Get some of mine own. later on. Uh, oh. I also didn't know you were such a jerky fan. Well, it's quick. It's hey, easy. Jerky. It's got good protein in right. it. I loved the jerky boys back in the day. Again, before your time. Yeah, don't uh, know that. But you know, I call people sizzle chest when I eat this <laughs> uh, mid-show. And uh, but no, but one of the things. That was not jerky that was in this package. I have discovered I really like, and I I went from 
never having even heard of it before, to really liking it. Roasted fava beans. You know, there's all these, like, hippie snacks you can get now. A lot <laughs> yes. of them are bean-related, right? Uh -huh. Legumes, they're good for you. My daughter got me a bag. It's called Favalicious, and it's chili and lime roasted fava beans. I've never had a fava bean, like, in regular form. I don't think I and have the, either. And these yeah, are not for everybody. I, either, I mean, yeah. oh, they're so good. I mean, you put chili and lime on anything, and it's going to be pretty good. Right. But, I mean, these are really good. So I'm always— Are they I'm, crunchy? Yeah, they're real okay, crunchy. Okay. Yep. I mean, you need some water when you're yeah. eating them, but— but I'm always right. I'm always looking for something like that because I have like a raging sweet tooth, and I've for the most part really gotten it under control over the last like six months, and so I'm always looking for something like that. That's of course some to most people it's going to be some gross hippie snack, but it was I liked it a lot. I thought it was good. I'm into those type of snacks too. You know those little wasabi. Uh, Peas. Yeah, yeah. I love those. Those are good, yeah. yeah. Those are real good. Yeah. I'll so be into those fava beans. beans. Yeah, I'll have to but try those that. those are one, like, you're, you'll you eat so many, then you're like, oh, I destroyed my tongue. <laughs> yeah. Because. It's like eating sour things, like, too. Does yeah, because you're like, oh, these are good, and I'm not going to eat that many. They're kind of hot. And then before you know it, you ate half a bag, and you're like, oh, no, my tongue is destroyed. Yeah, but, they weren't even that hot. Like, they're, I think they're just trying. Good, I think they're just trying to get people into those kinds of snacks so they don't want to, like, destroy their faces or anything with them. I guess they're called broad beans. I don't know. I, I don't know that I've ever had they're one. They're beans for broad. <laughs> <laughs> Fava bean. Yeah, known as the broad bean. Mm -hmm. Now, I do hate lima beans. When I was a oh, kid, um, my parents were not, like, uh, eat everything on your plate kind of people, right? Mm -hmm. Because they're like, that's how, whatever, whole other thing. But there was one time where I was really digging my heels in, and I did not want to eat. I was probably seven or eight. I did not want to eat these lima beans. My parents made me sit there, and I couldn't leave the table. Did this ever happen to you? Yes. When you were a kid. You're not yes. leaving the table until you finish these. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't a kid that, like, dug my heels in on a lot of things. But I genuinely could not choke down these goddamn lima beans. I sat there. They <laughs> shut the kitchen light off. I'm sitting there. Oh. The whole thing, man. They're like, you know, my parents were very, you ain't going to get one over on us. Yeah. And so I sat there. I sat there. I, would, I didn't eat lima bean one. And they finally came out, like, around 1130 at night. And they were like, all right, get out of here. Oh, wow. I've to never... this day. Cause there's a lot of things I've kind of grown into. I, I take a second look at them, and you mm -hmm. go, oh, yeah, they're okay. Yeah. You know, blue cheese, things like that. Mm -hmm. And there's um, a lot of things spinach, that but, just the but way But lima was, beans, no way. The way it was prepared in the 70s, 80s, 90s wasn't how things are prepared now. Like Brussels sprouts, in when my mom would make them, she would just- Just boil them. Boil them or <laughs> just steam, put them them, or steam them, put them in a, a, like, just in like a glass- tray and just let no them no like, seasoning no like the salt and pepper yeah. and maybe some butter but they'd they'd be why so soaking wet hmm. just like they'd be so wet and so mushy and then be like these are gross and then you get like roasted properly seasoned with some balsamic vinaigrette and you're like oh these are incredible i was that weird kid that loved vegetables though like i would sit there and just eat raw broccoli all day long i liked them too like, loved, I still yeah. do love vegetables. Brussels sprouts, broccoli, I love all that stuff. I remember my parents would be like, what is wrong with this kid? I would, like, crave it and but ask my thought, for it. But yeah. my thought was, hey, I'm eating all these other vegetables. If there's yeah. one or two I don't like, give me the hell okay. out of here. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. Let no, me pull the cord on this. That and... was me with tomatoes. Like, couldn't, even if I would order a burger and say no tomato and they accidentally put it on there, if I took it off, I still couldn't eat the burger because I could taste the juice and the seeds. Yeah. I hated it that much. But I was mad about it. I'm like, why can't I like tomatoes? So every so often I would You'll try it. Shot. And yeah. now I like them. It took, oh, good. it took, how old am I again? 26? Yeah. Uh, how, um, whatever that yeah. math is. Uh, now she <laughs> doesn't mind the juice. Yeah. Oh, now it's I'm, all good. Now I'm into it. Yeah. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> She's had a real come to Jesus moment about the juice. Yeah. <laughs> Alan, did your daughter say, you are my fava when she gave you the... Mm -hmm. That's a good one. She did. That's so funny that this person oh texted gosh. me that she, she said, you are my fava. Yeah. That's a great um, one. Okay. I, yeah, fava beans, Hannibal Lecter, I know. But he never had chili lime uh, roasted crunchy ones. <laughs> All right. Bridget's here. Bridget underscore Linton 8. That's if the one. If you want to go see her on uh, Instagram and say hello, be nice. I think they usually are, right? This audience is nice. I mean, 50-50? Um, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. They, they actually have on, you know, let's not encourage them to start being mean. No, no I know, but I mean, like, like when yeah. they genuinely like somebody, it's, you know, yeah. they don't, 